So once the needle is in the mass, we remove the stylet and I am going to demonstrate something here called as the fanning technique. What the fanning technique is all about is when you make a pass into the lesion, you move the needle back and forth into the same mass and there has been some preliminary studies that have shown that you procure more tissue and you get increased diagnostic accuracy by doing a fanning technique rather than going through the same um, path of the needle over and over again. So we will go through this particular angle once and then subsequently we will retract a needle to the tip of the mass, take a different position, go back and then take a different position. For this the needle has to be highly flexible. So we will do two passes. I am going to withdraw the needle to the tip of the mass and I am going to use my elevator or my tip down or tip up or you can move your scope. You can do any combination of movements to get a different position in the same mass. Now I am going to perform an FNA in a different area three times. I am going to withdraw the needle to the tip of the lesion. With my tip up and tip down, I am going to use a little bit of tip up to move myself into a different position and then I can also move the scope or torque my shoulder or use the elevator to get a different angle. In this particular case, I am tipped up, I am using my elevator to move the needle to a different angle but note the important thing is the needle should stay within the mass at all times. You cannot move the needle into the duodenal mucosa and I am going to do two more passes. I am going into a different area. I am going to pull back the needle to the tip of the mass and I am going to use my tip up, tip down, push the scope a little bit forward and with that I am at the very periphery of the lesion. In pancreatic cancer, the best tissue is procured from the margins because in the center of the lesion you will find only necrotic material. Now with the needle at the periphery of the lesion, I am going to advance my needle once more and I am going to get some passes. You can see here on fluoroscopy that the needle is moving in different angles and still it is the configuration is maintained by EUS imaging and we are going back and forth into this mass using the fanning technique. Now I am withdrawing this needle back, I am locking this needle and I am going to disengage it from the system. For performing the fanning technique, I think uh, the needle has to be very sharp because uh, you want a needle to go initially very fast into the lesion and then subsequently you don't want to fall out of the lesion. You want to stay within the lesion and you should be able to move the needle back and forth into the mass. I think the sharpness and flexibility of the needle is very important for the fanning technique. Otherwise, when you pass the needle in multiple directions within a mass, it can easily be deformed.